What's up guys? My name is Christian Artemis and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a little more about Baby Crescent Gecko that I got about two weeks ago. Uh, warning, spoiler alert. Alright guys, before you continue watching this video, check out my Gecko unboxing video. I'll leave the link in the description. Let's get back to the video. Alright guys, so if you don't follow my Instagram, you should because I put content there all the time. Follow me on fish underscore anonymous. I'll put it right here on the screen for you guys. All right guys, so on my Instagram, I posted a picture of my Crested Gecko and a few of you guys gave name suggestions and I'll put them up on the screen right now. And honestly, all the names were awesome. Thank you guys for commenting your, your suggestions, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right, so I'm going with Drogon. Drogon from Game of Thrones. I love that name and I think it fits my Gecko and it's such a sick name, so. Thank you, Paola, for picking the name for my gecko. Awesome. So as you guys know, I got my crested gecko from Fringe Morphs. Uh, my experience on the whole situation. So pretty much, I ordered my crested gecko on Black Friday of last year, 2019. And I thought I would be getting my crested gecko maybe a week, maybe two weeks after. They even said they would do um, overnight shipping. But I live in California and Around that time, it was pretty cold, but it wasn't that cold to ship geckos. But that's why I was kind of like, like, what's going on? I wasn't sure uh, about this company in the first place. After about two months, um, I received my gecko. As you guys can tell in the most recent video, in the unboxing video, that's when I actually got my gecko. So whenever I posted that, I got my gecko that pretty much that day. If you guys get a gecko online, um, just know if you get it around Thanksgiving, in December time and maybe even earlier as January, you might not receive a gecko as soon as you want. So that's just uh just FYI to tell you guys. Alright guys, so you guys click on this video for one reason and one reason only. My gecko in the back. So he, right now he's in his little critter cage. I'm gonna pull out the cage right now and show you guys him in a bit. Alright guys, so this is my Crested Gecko, he's climbing on me right now, as you guys can see. I've been uh, holding him for like 5-10 to 10 minutes every day for a good week now, and he's getting comfortable in my arms. He's still a little skittish, so I'm just going very very slowly, he's breathing a little hard, so I'm going to put him down for a little bit. Alright guys, so Drogon was born May 10th, 2019, um, he, he's about like 9 months old, and I would say he'd, he'd be a lot bigger. But it's been cold here in California, and geckos don't like to eat that much during the winter. But hopefully I can put size on him and feed him well, and he can pick up a big, healthy crested gecko. Um, also, you guys might be wondering, what kind of gecko is he? Um, his morph, he's a high-contrast quad-stripe crested gecko. Also, he carries the pinstripe trait, as you guys can tell. Um, it starts the, So it starts from the crest, and goes all the way down to his tail. Um, I personally love this kind of morph. The other morph that I really like is the Lily Whites. So hopefully maybe in the future, uh, maybe I can get a Lily White and we can breed. So we'll see, fingers crossed. All right, so what I do for care, how do I care for my baby Crested Gecko? So right now I currently have them in a small critter container, as you guys can see. I'm also using paper towels and substrate. Um, the paper towels aren't that good with humidity, but I do spray the tank every morning and every night. So that really helps. Also, uh, paper towels are really good if you have a baby crested gecko because you can see if the crested gecko is pooping and that's very important so you know if your gecko is eating. Especially if you're a first time owner of a crested gecko, you wanna make sure that your gecko is eating and has the proper nutrients and the hubbin, hubbin, see? hubbin. Also guys, don't be alarmed if your crested gecko just doesn't eat the first week. My crested gecko, Drogon, did not eat for the first week and I got very worried. A healthy gecko will eat, so make sure you have Pangea in the container and the humidity and temperature is correct and you should be fine. I also added a rolled up paper plate uh, so he can climb on and hide under, which is great and he loves. I also added on the right side, you guys can see, I added a small pothos plant 
and it's great for when I spray the tank, he can drink water off the plant and also he's been sleeping on top of the leaves, which is awesome. Also guys, I want to show you guys what I've been feeding my crescent gecko, Drogon. He's been eating watermelon and with insect Pangea. There's times that I like to mix them also. So add a little bit of the insect Pangea and the watermelon. Gives it a great little taste. And there's a lot of different um, gecko diets that you guys can feed your geckos. But I personally pick Pangea because it's a well-known brand. Alright guys, thanks for watching this week's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos next Sunday. Peace.